Esther, Esther, the Purim. What is Purim, guys? So, what is Purim, guys? What is Purim? Hi, guys! Hi, everyone! Shalom! So, welcome back to my channel! And today, as you can see, um, can you guess what I am? <laughs> I think it's so easy. Actually, I don't have costume. Actually, I really don't prepare my costume. This is my costume for the last two years, I guess. 2017 or something. I bought it before. So, since we don't really have like a party, normally every Purim, we do have a party at the office or you know in the congregation in the kahila but because of this pandemic because of this corona thing so we cannot get together and yep there's even a curfew uh, especially during this purim and yep i just want to share something with you guys about purim so let's begin First of all, can you guess first what I'm at? Okay, so I can become a tiger and mm. also I also can be a cat. <laughs> Actually, I want to put some makeup here but I said, oh, I don't want to put some of the, you know, like the cat and the tiger here. Uh, how you call that? The one in the cat fringes? How you call it? The, the one in the... In the cat nose? I'm uh, not in the nose something. Yeah, but I don't want to put it because it will be very hard for me to remove it. So I said, okay, I will just be a simple cat or simple tiger today. So this is it. I put this, my tiger ears, like, <laughs> or meow, Run. Actually, guys, this is like a leopard. I don't even know if I'm a tiger, a cat, or a leopard. <laughs> but they are on the same family. Like, they are on the same family of cats. <laughs> so it's the same. First of all, guys, I want to greet all of you. Khag Purim Samea. So, Khag Purim Samea. I hope that you will increase your joy because we are in the month of Adar and during the month of Adar you know there will should there should be an increase of joy because it's a month of Adar <laughs> what is that <laughs> so yeah today I just want to share with you a little bit information about Purim I know some of you guys uh, already knew what is Purim and for those who don't know what is Purim so watch this <laughs> or listen to what I'm, I'm going to share or you know even if you know something about Purim maybe you should continue watching this <laughs> to gain more insights or understanding maybe I will say something that you didn't know yet mm. that you don't know yet Purim is a Jewish holiday that commemorates the saving of the Jewish people from Hamam um, who planned to kill all the Jews as recounted in the book of Esther. So during Purim, of course, we read the book of Esther. I mean the synagogue, read the book of Esther or everyone that, uh, you know, in the churches, congregations. So during Purim, you read the story into the book of esther of course because this is the story and this is the holiday this is the reason why we celebrate this holiday because the jewish people has been saved and because of esther the jewish people exist until Yay! today yes you are correct it's a very popular verse in the bible uh, actually in the book of esther that says who knows that you have been called at such a time as this that's why i usually share this verse a lot of times when i'm posting about the greetings during purim that you know we need to rise up against anti-semitism because it's really spreading all over the world and you know who knows that you are alive at such as times as this so you can become a part 
of you know standing with Israel and the Jewish people so that the history will not repeat itself. Till now, the anti-Semitism, as I mentioned, is arising all over the world and we can see it. So I hope that the story of Purim will encourage each and every one of us, not only pertaining for the Jewish people, but for every for humanity. This thing should not be happening again. To kill all the Jews or to kill a race or to annihilate a certain race in the world. It's not humane. It's not how human beings should act. So now let's take some time to know how God used Esther to save her people. Actually, um, Esther didn't have such a beautiful background. She was an orphan and he lived in a foreign land and was exiled. For someone who is orphan, no parents that take care of you when you're growing up, you can really see on her life how she suffered, the, the suffering that she's been through into her life. And actually, Esther came from the tribe of Benjamin, which we know that the tribe of Benjamin has been stripped of, of kingship. So, like looking back on her background, it was like, wow, you can see like how God used this woman with such nothing to save her people, to save all her people. So it was really so beautiful and really touching and moving. And so why does Esther, this Hebrew girl who is taken um, from the exile, was chosen? because something was there something was there with esther esther beauty was not just on the surface it came from something that was much deeper you know it's not like the outward appearance the the one that you can see oh yeah she's beautiful but god used her more because of what's inside because you know, God sees what's in our heart and God really sees something on Esther that make her to become a queen. She was chosen to become a queen. You can read in my book that I wrote something as well about Esther. One more thing that I want to share is the book of Esther is the only book in the Old Testament where God was never mentioned. You can read the whole entire book of Esther and you cannot see a word God over there. Esther's real name is Hadassah which means in Hebrew, hidden, since her first identity was hidden, you know. Throughout the entire chapter, God is working in secret. He was hidden, but his works and miracles are truly recognizable. That's why even if you cannot see the word God on that uh, chapter of Esther or in the book of Esther, you can see that all throughout the story of Esther that God is working in silent, hidden, you know. Like he is hidden, but his work and miracles are truly recognizable. Direct every course, setbacks, and every event in this whole chapter, showing in the end that he was the mighty God, the God of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Of course, the God whom the ancestors of Esther and all of us is worshiping. So Esther knew and realized that the fate of her entire people was on her hands. She realized that she was not uh, brought or she was not placed into this royal position as such as time like that. On that certain period of time, she was not made a queen just because to accumulate, you know, a lot of jewelry, a lot of wardrobes, precious gem, and exotic fragrances. She is part of what God is doing on this earth and part of God's plan to redeem the world. Of course, if, if Esther didn't save the Jewish people before, the, our Messiah will not come. Actually, what I like about Esther was she was an unlikely candidate for a queen. She was young, she was inexperienced, she's an orphan, he's a foreigner, and not exactly the qualities you would put on a resume for an application to the queen. Esther wasn't really applying for a queen. She was chosen. She was chosen to be a queen. She always remember, God is not looking for what you are right now. He sees the future in you. He says you will be something even before you know it. He knows what you will be. You see, because 
If you would say to a young Esther before, okay, you will become a queen one day, do you think she will believe that or someone will believe it? Of course not. Since God uh, directs all the course of events in her life, so no one really, you know, that she will be chosen as a queen. So that's why um, always remember that God is not looking on what you are right now, but He knows what you will be in the future and what He can, what He will, what you will be is something that you will not imagine. What I learned in this um, story of Esther and in the book of Esther is that um, when God position you that it is now your time to shine, this will be your time to shine. Like the book of Ecclesiastes says that there is a time and season for everything. So that time is Esther time. It is her season and then God is placing her to become a queen, to, to be a queen, to save her people and we have different season so maybe now this is not your your time to shine or or your time to succeed but do not grow weary because you never know where your time will come but they i also read it that it says for us waiting is wasting but for god waiting is working for us because we are human beings we we usually grow weary and we are became so tired that lord when i will become like this when i will succeed when i'm going to finish this i think we should just never stop doing what god given gifts that god has given to us or what are the the things that we supposed to do because god has a timing for everything and if it is your time it is your season you will shine because, because that will be your season yeah and Esther's season is during that time and God raised her up during a time like that and she was used mightily by God which is really amazing so I really love the story of Esther during this pouring we also eat Osme Haman but actually I don't like it so much <laughs> I try to taste it but actually I don't know I don't like it it comes with different flavor I guess yeah I think it has different flavor you can put different stuffing inside it's like um, it's it's a triangle like that which is like a shape of the ear so I call it Osme Haman Haman ears <laughs> so we are eating his ears <laughs> Actually, as I mentioned you guys, I don't like it so much, so I don't usually eat it. Mm. But I taste it before. I try to, ta to taste it, of course. Also, another thing that I learned from the story of Esther, we need his favor. We need God's favor. If we live a life that's pleasing to God, he will also give us favor among men. Like, you know, I, I, I think this is something that, that I believe yeah hey, people will just be joyful to see you people will, will will be nice that you are around them you know something like this like whenever you go you bring joy to them they will they can just feel it so you gain favor from men and from god it's very very nice also is that God always gave us time to prepare. And Esther and the other contestant, they are given about one year to prepare. Oh my gosh, to make yourself so beautiful. <laughs> Guys, that's it. That's my quick sharing about the book of Esther and what are the lessons I learned and some information about Esther. And yep, so I hope you learned something. And I want you to watch this very, very cute videos of my niece during the Purim celebration, so enjoy. But before that, I want to let you know, guys, because of the pandemic, I already mentioned to you guys that we don't have like party or something anymore, so it was really a different one. But for the kids, they usually go to the Gan. Um, Gan is like kindergarten, and then they just have their Purim costume, and yep, they let the kids to enjoy and still celebrate it in a simple way, like um, going in the kindergarten and then having a costume or something. So that's why I also have a costume today. Rock. I am a tiger. <laughs> so, yep, so hope you enjoy it, guys. <laughs> Tiki 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 tiki
Again, thank you for watching and I greeted you again. Kag Purim Sameya. Kag Sameya. Thank you for watching guys and do not forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and hope to see you again on my next vlog. Bye!